you need to just practice all of that. But how many people are really accessing it? It's a bit like um, like looking at the impact then, isn't it? So we put in child protection plans, child and knee plans, yeah. and all of the focus is in, well, what impact is that having? Yeah. And that's what you want to look at the staff group. Yes, absolutely. Like, yeah. What impact is that having? Is, yeah. is it the right strategy that's getting your staff group to be where they yeah, want to yeah. be? Or is there a gap? Yeah, and for some people, no, because they love a podcast. They don't want to go out of their house, <laughs> yes, and they're true, quite yeah. happy. No, but for other people, they're really missing yeah, yeah. something, which is a bit of a shame. I do think so, and I think what they think is it's one size fits all, and we'll just tick that box. Yeah. You know, look, Ofsted, we've done this. We've done this training for people. We've done that training for people. A bit like a well-being strategy. Yes, one yes, absolutely. Yeah, have absolutely. A, have a well-being day. Yeah, here's some money yeah. to go and do that, and yeah. maybe it doesn't quite fit what everyone. Yeah. To get out of that. I thought the child outcome analysis, so you know that box. <laughs> um, I thought that was quite a good model. We, we, you know, obviously when we did it, it was the first one, and it we it turned out. Mm. Well, no, but it turned out mm. all right. But actually, I just thought that was quite good because, um, of course, you get really defensive, going, "Oh yeah, what they want," you know. But yeah, that was quite good, really. To to you know, sort of see what you're looking at, audit them coming around, you're showcasing all your stuff and everything. I think that was too bad actually. The no, way they did it. Effectiveness but then they it. ruined it by saying it's great for my team to get out, see some practice. Yeah. And you think that is the point. And you that's the whole coming back to the disconnect thing. Disconnect. Yeah. How can you say a team that's quality assurance, you're saying it's good for them to get out? Yeah, that's and you and you just ruined it in one fast room. You ruined it for me. It. Yeah, because I just thought, really, yeah. do you not be saying that to the staff? No, because then that just reinforces what they think yeah, yeah. that it's separate yeah. and and everyone's separate in their silo. So that CP mm. chair didn't want you know a dad with hard of hearing, a mum with learning dis- disability. We said it needs to be chair in the in the meeting face to face hybrid. You know, we haven't got screen, but we can have it on the laptop. First of all, she says, oh, no, the traffic's too bad to come down to Dover. Then, sorry, I shouldn't say Dover. Um, then she said, oh, have you done a risk assessment? Dad's a bit aggressive, you know. Um, and he can be, you know, not pleasant. Um, then we said, don't worry, we've got a panic alarm. We've done a risk assessment. And then she said the layout of the building was not conducive to having this father. First of all, we said before COVID, we always had face-to-face mm-hmm. meetings in that room. We've had aggressive mm-hmm. fathers. And actually, how dare you? My social workers are going into that house every week to see that aggressive man. Mm-hmm. And you're sitting in a meeting, you're going you're gonna to have you know two social workers in there, plus the advocate, plus um, you as a chair, and all alarm. of us here, because mm. we know that he can be like that, and we you hit the panic alarm, we're all going to be there. And yet you don't want to do that. And I just thought, you've got no idea that no. everybody's been doing this. Because that comes back to what you said at the beginning, about the feeling that everyone's working together, yeah. and communication, yeah. and yeah. Through being able to have that open door policy and being helpful. Yeah, yeah. So it and understanding like, that, and I'm when that doesn't that. happen, yeah. that feels really difficult, yeah. because that's yeah. not... That doesn't make everyone feel well yeah, and happy exactly, about their yeah. job because it feels like you're not working together no, and sharing skill and yeah. all those kind of yeah. things. And of course, as soon as you've built in built a QA sort of system, you know, and and actually the social workers were insulted because they were saying, mm. you know, she just, the chair doesn't want to come down and do it face to face, and yet we've all been. You know, you always come back to COVID. We've all been doing this in mm. COVID. But actually, we've been doing this before COVID. And we yeah. used to do it face to face. So what is the problem? Well, I think that from what you're saying, I think that things work best when people are working together and coming up with ideas about how to solve yeah, things. Yeah. And you feel like you're in it together rather than a disconnect Battling, between yeah, totally, different yeah. people in different yeah, teams. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That feels... I think difficult yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. really and whilst you have a QA system that's fine and you have a you know checks and balances for you know independent you know people you know chairs or whatever that's fine but actually it's a deficit model and mm. I think that doesn't work that's why people leave I and think. that's the whole thing about the appreciative inquiry approach is that mm. it's not a deficit model yeah, and I know so there's some really. ways people maybe just use it slightly differently but the whole point of it for this study yeah. is saying, 
we know social work is really hard. We don't need yeah. to hear any more about that. Yes, of course. We not. need to no. hear a bit more around to what's going well and yeah, how to yeah. make it better. Yeah. Because otherwise you're stuck in that perpetual. Yes. Well, senior management don't listen to me. And the QA team chose hate us. We get negative feedback. Yeah. Our building's rubbish. Yeah. And all of those things are absolutely yes. true. Yeah. But you kind of think, well, we know that. Yes, so exactly. what, what, what can we do? When, we do what, yeah. what, when it's working well, what is, yeah. what's working really well? Yeah, not forks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's true. And I think social workers, and, and I think every profession probably gets to that point too, but social workers particularly carry a bit of a narrative around our job is really hard. Yeah. yeah. You have to be busy or you're not important. Yeah, That's yeah. definitely true, but probably for other professions as well. Um, and something about the culture of people coming in. They're going to get drawn into that yes, of narrative they are, rather yeah. than a yeah. This is a bit difficult sometimes, but you know that yeah. Because because that's the nature of the job. Yeah. That's not going to be yeah, a shock to you. Yeah. You know, you come into the job with your eyes open. But how do we then make the best of what we're doing rather yeah, than yeah. constantly giving a bit of a? This is really rubbish. The building's yeah. rubbish. I don't, have, I don't have a fork. All those are really yeah, important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do yeah, you know what? Exactly. it's kind of like okay, what what can we yeah. do differently? So my final question is what would you do differently? Like, oh. what, what change do you think? Um, and what what would need to happen for that yeah. to happen? I think that, um, that definitely the deficit sort of model, they haven't quite got right. I think we do need to... I mean, they're trying because they're doing this practice escalation rather and mm-hmm. practice um, appreciation rather than gradings, which is an interesting thing because all of the workers are like, oh, I've got a good for that, and mm. they strive to get that. Um, I do think that appreciative sort of stuff, you know, this bit's going really well. I think well, you're right, we have got to get out of, my job's really hard, I'm really, really busy, mm. you know, and yeah, because in my particular area, you know, some of them have got caseloads of, this mm. and they're still going yeah but she, she can't have anything else because she's got like court work it's like she's got 15 mm. cases yeah and um yeah so you've got to get out of that sort of mm. and what you want them to go she's got 15 she's got some in court okay maybe let's negotiate and see if we can have one or two yes. to help yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. which comes back to the whole thing about your ideal work scenario yes. being a building that's welcoming yeah. staff group that are up for doing yeah, something different yeah. and a management team that are open to helping yeah, offering absolutely. You've got she's got 30 you've got 15 come yeah. on please oh, we might have a busy it. week we might have a busy duty week well yeah but then we'll think about it then won't we yeah not it's got to be more solution focused I think in the you know it's hard to for teams not to be in sort of like mm. protective and stuff like that mm. but you've got to have that ethos of this is a district wide this is a team that we've all got to work together yeah. because the job is shit and the job is really hard and that's the yeah. yeah i think that yeah. you know that's one of the challenges isn't it yeah, the, yeah. the job is really difficult and the families are difficult yeah, yeah. that's not going to be any different so yeah if you want to do this brilliant if you don't Maybe yeah. let's find you something, yeah, God, something yeah. different because yeah, this isn't a job for everybody. Yeah. And that's all right. I think yeah. we need to be better at um, allowing people to leave when they don't yeah, like it. Yeah, I think I definitely, and not yeah. And they're rubbish. Or go try Just, something different. Yeah. yeah, we're not the only brand of social work. No, we're not. With a tiny bit yeah. of what people's opportunities are. Absolutely. And, you know, it's... Um, it's fine to go and try new things and stuff. I mean, I think if you're leaving because, oh, my God, this place is terrible mm. and the management team is terrible and all of that, I think you have to look at that differently. But, you know, you have to got to have an ethos of development, mm. you know, moving people on to things that they're better suited to, moving people on so they get different experiences, so it's a whole collective. But, I mean, sorry, I've gone off the point now, but what sort of works? But, um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, the key to all of it in this particular bit is the low caseloads, mm. and then replacing that. Oh my God, I've got thirty cases. To I've got fifteen cases or whatever. What am I going to? Am I going to do? Mm. What am I going to do with my time? You know, I mean, some people have still got red visits. Really, 15. really. Yeah, I mean.